everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Jenna. Here's Xavier. Say I'm getting so big, guys. And if you hear a weird noise in the background, um, that noise, it's Navy. She is with her little toy vacuum. We're running around. Of course, the moment I start talking to a camera or talking on the phone to anybody, that's just kind of how kids roll. I feel like I have been in a funk with filming. It's been so many days since I have filmed and it just feels, I don't know. It's, I've just been kind of so, I've just been so busy and just kind of like, and I don't know. We're getting back into it though, huh? They were getting back into it. Uh, we're eating lunch. Mav just got home from school. Uh, from then we're, you know, Oh, they're planting outside. They're right there. But I need to, of course, exercise today. I'm so behind on laundry because we were gone all day yesterday. And I just have many things around the house I need to get done. There's no practice or game tonight. And so today is going to be the day to get all that done because the next three days we're going to be busy. And then Friday is going to be very exciting. If you guys don't already know, make sure you watch my last video. I slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, Here is lunch for the day. We've got an avocado, a cookie, half a chicken salad sandwich, and half peanut butter. We need the protein before we work out. Watch me break in. So much going on since last time that I have filmed and so I'm just gonna catch you guys up I have been reading two books so one book I've been reading for a while now and I needed a refresher of it because I started reading it before Xavier was born and now I needed a refresher so I read it over the, not the weekend I read it last week again uh, the five love languages of children it's just really interesting because my kids are getting up to that age where you can figure it out because when they're young you know kids need all of the different love languages and so as they get older you can kind of figure out what they are and it'll change over time highly recommend this book for all parents it is really good I like this book a lot. So another book that I got last week in the mail. Um, so I watched the podcast. Uh, it's the unplanned podcast. Sometimes I watch it. Sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends who the guests are. I like to watch lots of different podcasts, but only with certain guests or if I'm interested in the topic that they're talking about. So I watched the podcast, Unplanned Podcast with Matt and Abby, and they were interviewing Dr. Amen. Amen. Sorry, Dr. Amen. <laughs> they were interviewing him and he was talking about his new book, Parenting. This book is pretty much like why he was on the podcast to promote it, uh, but it's called Raising Mentally Strong Kids. And I am really into this. I like it. I just started it last week because like I said I was finishing up that one and then I started this one and it is really good and interesting I highly so far I so far highly recommend this I'll let you guys know as I go on and when I finish it and such but I really like this and I know some people feel weird about parenting books and such and this doesn't say you need to do this to your kids or you know what I mean like it gives you scenarios it helps you learn a bit, little bit more about your kids and parenting and I took um, childhood and adolescent psychology like I have a minor in psych and so I learned about a lot of that and I still have those textbooks that I'll like kind of peek at and stuff but I really like this book because it's not written like a textbook it is written like a book <laughs> that's so hard to say. I mean yeah it's a book so it's written like a book you know if it's not like a textbook okay but it's not also a story either and it's a good in between where they give you scenarios and examples and I really like it so far and so I can leave links for both of those but I wanted to tell you I'm so happy I finally got back into reading my life even though it's chaotic and it's gonna get more chaotic I like that I could find that time to start reading just a few minutes a day I actually uh, read for like 20 minutes a day last week and it just kind of worked out that way that I was able to do that. It was right after I would exercise and such and Xavier's asleep because he's been staying awake when I work out now and Navy's still napping and then Maverick falls asleep playing and before I come downstairs because when I, when I come downstairs Xavier wakes up. 
and I had the book up there and I was like, okay, so I just read for 20 minutes after and it just felt really good to do something like that for myself, but that was of course when I had like everything done I needed to get done. Even though I didn't have a video edited, I just kind of needed a break. Like I took a good probably six days of no filming and it was so strange but it felt pretty good to do that just with everything that's been going on like i just kind of needed a small little mini break and i didn't exactly take like a maternity leave you know when he was born and so it was nice to kind of have i mean granted it was six days but it was six days and it was definitely needed. I also made an Amazon order today and I've been having issues with Amazon lately in orders. It has been driving me insane. They've been driving me nuts. Like when I, I ordered a dog crate on there for the puppy and it never came. Like I said, it was damaged and stuff. So I got my refund, whatever. I also ordered dog bowls that kind of elevate and go up as the puppy will grow. And they have, uh, Oh my gosh, what is it called? It's not sensory feeding, but it's not just a regular bowl. It has divider and stuff in it, so then they don't scarf down their food right away, you know what I mean? Like it makes them work a little bit more for it. And so I ordered those, and it was taking forever, and then over the weekend, like I couldn't fix the problem on my phone, so I had to sign in on desktop. So I signed in on my laptop. I didn't understand what it was, like what was going on with it, but it wanted to wait until after we get the puppy, and like a whole nother a week and a half. I just canceled it, because I can't wait another week and a half. Like I have to have dog bowls for the puppy. Like he needs food bowls. And so I ordered a new thing of dog bowls on Amazon because I canceled that order and I found the same thing but a little bit nicer and it, was, and it was on sale too. So I ordered that. That should be coming tomorrow. And then I also, <laughs> we're not going to have time to go get a leash. So I ordered a leash on there and I got that for like seven bucks or something. That's not bad at all, honestly. I also ordered myself a new Soccer Mom Era t-shirt. Let me explain why. We went out to dinner with my grandma last night and all the kids and it was at a local Mexican restaurant. Not the same one we always go to, but they have like different, they have three different restaurants. So we went to a different one on the other side of town. They have coat hangers against these random walls that are inside. Like they have like, it's not all open, but they have walls kind of everywhere. And they have coat hangers on there and they're really small aisles. And I was walking and I had the car seat and then Maverick and then there was a baby uh, in a high chair so it was even smaller and I'm walking and it got on the lettering on the back of it and it ripped a huge hole in the back of it right where the lettering's at. And there's no way to fix it. There's no way to sew it because it's right in the middle of the lettering. I was so mad. Like, I was already overstimulated and that just set me over. I was so mad. And then when I got home, I took off my shirt and I threw it in the trash. Like, I was so done. And so Zach's like, you just need to get yourself a new one. Because I literally had that shirt for six days. And I've worn it twice, but I had it six days. And so I ordered myself the same thing, a new one. But it just makes me so mad because it was like a waste of $20. And... It's like, of course, it's something for myself that I get for myself and then it breaks. You know what I mean? And I don't order stuff for my, like for me personally that I use myself all the time. And so it just really frustrated me and really annoyed me. What a Bubba. Wow, Xavier and I's outfits are, colors are clashing a lot. Uh, I just got done, here, you wanna turn around? I just got done exercising and I showered. I feel really good and motivated and I always just feel so much better after a workout. I did, tw I did a five minute warm up. I find those really help and I get a little over a mile done in those and then I did a 20 minute and I did over six miles and so together I think I did it was like seven and a half miles I did and then I did some core and weights took a shower I feel really good this little guy's hungry again say I'm not little mom say I a big boy huh he's such a big boy he's growing so fast huh they are growing so fast and now I need to feed him and fold laundry cook dinner I'm so behind on laundry. I have two loads of their laundry to fold and I'm going to be so busy the next three days. I don't know if it's going to happen. Also, I wanted to mention this morning, uh, I picked up Rudy 
They called last week, last Thursday, I think, and said that he was ready. And I just didn't get the chance because it's like out of, it's out of town to go to our vet. And so I just didn't get the chance to go, but I went this morning and I got him. It was just some different emotions and I know we're gonna spread a little bit of his ashes in two places we want to spread his ashes and we have to spread his ashes we want to because there are two places that are his favorite that he really enjoyed and so we're just gonna do a little bit we're not gonna do all of them but we do have to do some because he doesn't fit in the box that we have down there so if, I think it was like two three videos ago I showed you guys his memorial box and everything we have like his paw prints and his fur and everything and he does not fit in the box just by a smidge and uh, I was really surprised I don't know why I was surprised he's a big dog with how heavy he was so we're gonna do that as a family together at his two favorite places and I think it just couldn't be I know it's gonna cause like a wave of emotions but I think he just came back at a really good time later in the day uh, so I did finish the laundry it was two loads of the kids stuff I folded it and it's in the basket I need to put it away at some point tonight and I made dinner so we all ate dinner did Savannah's homework Savannah and Maverick are right out here playing outside Navy's eating a dessert which is like an uh, ice cream cone from my grandma that she had bought gave the kids uh, like you know they're like in the frozen box and so that's what she's eating Xavier will not nap uh, he is fighting his naps today he just will not nap has no interest in napping and I just I don't know what his dealio is I, I really don't I just don't understand why he's not napping uh, anyways I'm filling out Mavericks soccer photo form which they're just so expensive like why does an 8x10 memory mate need to be $25 and then an 8x10 by itself $15 and two five by sevens for fifteen dollars like i just don't understand why uh, why all that is so expensive and i honestly think i'm just i'm gonna get the memory mate mommy. and then maybe the five by sevens and that's mommy. it be done with it it's just crazy to me how much like things cost now like i mean i i get it i do but it's just it's just it's crazy to me i guess a portion of the proceeds will go to where like how where i signed maverick up through to play soccer that is i'm sorry this is so chatty this is just i feel like i haven't filmed in a while and so i'm being really chatty with you guys talking a lot and uh i wasn't having like a great morning like it just started off kind of rough but then as the day's gone on it's gotten a lot better and zach is mowing because this is the only night of the week that he can actually mow because we are so busy the next three evenings and then friday we don't want to do that because we're going to have the puppy and we're going to be getting back super late and there's not going to be any time and you know we just want to spend that time with him
Okay, I really wanted to get all of this organized and I'm so glad that I did because it was a hot mess. This is a lot of puzzles underneath this puzzle. All the crayon boxes. Games, didn't have to mess with those. And then lots of coloring books and more uh, workbooks and stuff and paper. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. I got some editing done, some work stuff. Zach finished mowing, kids were playing. Now it's time for bath and bed. I am exhausted, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys would like to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.